What's up guys, it's your Casual Gamer back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to upload your entire Steam library into LaunchBox. Alright guys, now first before we get started, let's head over to launchbox.com and make sure we got LaunchBox downloaded. Now it doesn't matter if you have the free version or the paid version, you should be able to upload your entire Steam library to both versions just fine. The link is in the description below. Before we head over to LaunchBox, there's one thing we need to do in Steam first. So let's go up to your name, click on view my profile, click on edit profile, Go to my privacy settings and make sure my profile is public. You cannot have this on friends only or private. It has to be on public. If you have it on one of the other two, LaunchBox will not be able to get your games from Steam. So make sure it's on public. All right, now that we got LaunchBox downloaded, let's upload our Steam library. First, let's head up to the top right, find tools, click on tools, scroll down to import, Scroll to the left, find Steam Games. Click on Steam Games. Welcome to import games from Steam Wizard. Click Next. What is your Steam custom URL? Slash ID. Now guys, that's basically your gamer tag on Steam. So whatever your gamer name is on Steam, that's what you wanna enter right here. Now for some odd reason, you don't know what your gamer tag is on Steam. They got information right here where you can find out what that is. Okay. Next, what is your Steam API key? Now this is something new that LaunchBox is doing. They didn't used to do this in the past, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't know what your API key is, but Steam has been revoking the LaunchBox API keys lately, so now we have to actually manually enter our API key. But they have provided us a link right here. You click on this link and it'll take you to your Steam page so you can log in and find out what that API key is. Now once you're logged in, it's going to ask you to register for a new Steam Web API key. And it wants you to create a domain name. Now the domain name could be anything from your real name to a nickname or your pet's name. It doesn't matter. Once you do that, click on I agree and then you'll hit register. Now once you hit register, it's going to show you your API key. So I'm not going to do that on video guys because I don't want you seeing what my API key is. So once you have that API key copied from Steam, head on back over to LaunchBox and paste that API key into the box and hit next. Would you like to download metadata for your games? Make sure the first box is checked. Search for game information in the local metadata database. Hit next. Would you like to download images for your games? Now the type of images you wanna upload is up to you guys. Just always make sure you got the box front, box back, and 3D boxes selected. Hit next. Now it's going to show you every game that's in your Steam library right now. Even the games that aren't downloaded but are in your library are going to be uploaded into LaunchBox. Hit finish. And this is going to take a minute but it's uploading every game and the box art into LaunchBox. Alright that took about 6 minutes to upload everything. Now as you can see guys I got my entire Steam library uploaded to LaunchBox now. A few titles are missing some cover art, but I can just replace those with my own images. All right, now just to prove to you guys that everything is working like it's supposed to be, and that LaunchBox is actually connected to Steam, I'm gonna go ahead and launch up a game. I'm launching up Rocket League. And there you go. As you can see, it launches up. Just like if I was in Steam. No problems. And you can play the game. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. And until the next video, peace.